He ignores my message and then he cuts me off after one ring. No. Nobody treats me like this. <laughs> he is so gonna regret it. Why are you not working? Oh, it's dead down there. And plus, I wanted to check on you. I thought Silver was different. But he's not. He's just the same as all my exes. He's an insecure, stubborn man who likes to control me. But you know what? It's his loss. Sometimes I think relationships are more trouble than they're worth. I mean, I don't even know who my girlfriend is. <laughs> but Silver's a big man. I'd expect him to act differently. Exactly. Right? And I know my reputation isn't great. I've done some terrible things. I've lied. I've cheated. Yeah, but I don't get it. Say if a lad sleeps around, then he's the man. But if a girl is the same, then she's trash. It's not on. You should be able to have a good time, as long as you keep it safe. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm getting you a glass. Well, I come from a really big family where you had to shout to be heard. And that is when I started acting up. I was skipping school, dating all the boys. <laughs> and it worked. Everyone knew who I was. Well, for all the wrong reasons. There's nothing wrong with you. Listen, and you got better things to do than to sit here listening to me go on? Not really. My girlfriend's a well too, remember? You know what hurts the most? It's that I thought nothing would ever, ever come between me and Silver. But then he chooses to abandon me because of some lies that some friendless freaks are posting online. You know, it just, it makes me think that I'll never be enough for him. I think he sees me as like one of his things that he makes. He chips and chips away at me, trying to carve me into something that he wants, when all I want is a husband who loves me. For me. Sometimes... Sometimes I think that if I hadn't have lost a baby, maybe it would have just cemented things between us. And then... I could have finally given him what he wanted. What we both wanted. If you ask me, he's lucky you even noticed him. He might be silver, but you, you're solid gold. <laughs> Oh, that has got to be the cheesiest line I have ever, ever heard in my entire life. Sorry. No, please, please don't be, because well, I didn't think I was going to get a laugh today, so... Thank you. I got you all wrong. You're smart. And you listen. And even though Cher has been such a brat, you stand by her, you love her, not like Silver. You... <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, Cher's really, really lucky to have you. I love camping. First time I went with the Scouts, I never wanted to come home. You were in the Scouts? <laughs> dip, dip, dip. Really? One new year, we trekked up to Arthur's Seat in Scotland. We finally made it to the top. Me and my crew parted till the sun came up, like our very own Glastonbury. Jeez. All right, I know it's tame compared to your standards. No, it's the fact you've just said, crew. <laughs> Taking the mick out your old dad. <laughs> they were good times, until I got locked up. I'm so sorry. You know, one good thing came out of it, though. You. I would have never met your mum unless I got banged up. I just wish I knew you'd existed so I could see you grow up. I asked about you all the time, you know, but my mum just shut me down. She told me you didn't want to know. What? It's going to sound stupid, but 
had this fantasy that one day you'd show up and you'd tell me that you did want me. And that you're proud to have me as your daughter. Well, that's not a fantasy anymore. I'm so proud that you're my kid. You're my family, share, and I'm never, ever going to let you go. That share? Uh, no. Nah. Just home. You going somewhere? Mercy Town. And I'll to be over there. You know, I've tried everything to meet Silver's standards. I've tried so hard, but I can't be what he wants. You don't have to be. You can be yourself with me, and I think that's perfect. <laughs> and there you go again with your one-liners. I know, but I mean it. I needed to hear that. You know, you don't have to go out to have a good night. You're right. We don't need to go out to have some fun. Do we? <laughs> 